Hi guys, greetings from Switzerland. Today we have the pleasure to meet an inspiring leader of our industry, Xavier Destrival. Let's see what we can learn from the president of Kempinski Hotels Europe. Follow me! Lucia, Hi, welcome to Kempinski. Thank you, thank you for welcoming us. You're welcome. Shall we go? Perfect. I graduated, yes, a few years ago um, from Lausanne. I graduated with a diploma and with a wife. And then we, uh, we started, we went to Mexico and to Cancun. I started as corporate trainee, actually, in the Hyatt Regency Cancun. And then uh, quickly after six months, since I was doing during the day my corporate training and uh, at night uh, the other thing, so I was assistant at FNBE. Uh, then after two years I moved to the other Hyatt as um, EAM food and beverage. So I was lucky, you know, I was working very hard, but I moved up very quickly. So I stayed four years in Cancun, two years in the Hyatt Regency Cancun and two years in the Hyatt Cancun Caribe. Uh, that we had a hurricane of the century, the hotel was destroyed, reopened, it was very, very interesting. Then I moved to Jerusalem. Then in Jerusalem, after the hurricane, I got the Gulf War. That was also <laughs> very interesting with the missiles, etc., etc. And then there I stayed two years, I was FNB, I got my first baby. Then I moved to Paris, Hyatt Regency Charles de Gaulle, I did the opening. Uh, I stayed four years in Paris, time to get another baby. Uh, and then there I did F&B, sales and marketing, rooms, kind of a hotel manager. Then I moved back to Acapulco okay. as GM, 700 rooms hotel, fantastic. I was there uh, four years, two years I was general manager and then the other two years I was uh, regional uh, manager for Mexico. We had seven properties. Then in 2001 I moved to Japan for the opening of the Grand Hyatt Tokyo, uh, two years before was a very, very big project, a very interesting, fascinating. Uh, I did open the hotel in 2003 as GM. I ran the hotel for about four years. I was also at the end in charge of Japan for, for, for Hyatt. And then after that, after 22 years of Hyatt, I decided I needed to do something else with my brain and uh, new, acquire new skills. Mm -hmm. And I moved to Morgan Stanley. And I was asset manager. We had 30 properties. Uh, multi-properties, multi-brands, Hyatt, Westin, Intercontinental, etc. And uh, I did that for three and a half years. And then after that, really, I wanted to go back to hospitality. And I came back to Kapinski, which wanted uh, traditional, luxury, uh, privately owned a company, uh, European, was good. Uh, and then I started first as a senior VP operation for the company, mm -hmm. 75 hotels. And then uh, the last two and a half years, I've been president for Europe, managing about 30 hotels in Europe. I think 30 years ago, nobody really knew what was a CEO, COO, or president. Mm -hmm. We had a president of Hyatt, but he was for me God. So, <laughs> and we didn't have uh, the president of Hyatt at yeah. the time, we didn't have 30 hotels. Uh, no, I did not think, but uh, all along you walk, you walk, you walk, and you, you know, you, you tick what you do, general manager, regional general manager, one, 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 one continent, two continents, three continents, four continents, and then after that you all want, I personally am somebody, hence this is why I started in food and beverage, I need every day to be different, mm -hmm. and um, after the asset management, I thought it was good to do something else. Uh, typically, I wanted to stay in the hotel industry. I did that and I did the Lecole Hotelier for uh, the traditional hotel industry and I wanted to be, for me, general manager was yes. the first goal. Yeah. And then once you've been GM for four years, you say, okay, yeah. what's next? Yeah. Um, so that, that was what we had in yeah. my vision. My goal mm -hmm. was to be GM. Well, the, the advantage I have I still have is that my wife, you know, graduated from the hotel school, so she knows she would not call me at 12 o'clock in at night. Where are you? What are you doing? What time are you coming home? She knows, so that's a big help. Really, uh, I see some of my colleagues who are struggling because you know they don't mm -hmm. understand. So that's key. The partner is key for the understanding and for education of the children too. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so that was key, and it's one of the reason, uh, one of the big reason of my success is my 
second half part mm -hmm. my wife a mm -hmm. uh, lot of work a uh, lot of luck uh, <laughs> be at the right time at the right mm -hmm. place uh, flexibility um, always eager to discover never say no uh, try new things new culture new continent uh, be open-minded you must work with people you respect and people who can be your leaders who can be your mentor this is very important and the key of my success is also very much of course family wife children but also who I work with the people who trusted me the people who let me go which who promoted me Well, I did leave this industry in a way. I mean, when I went from uh, Hyatt to Morgan Stanley, it was really new, learning a new skills. You know, I used mm -hmm. to read dictionary till two, three o'clock in the morning every day for two and a half years in order to acquire this, what I needed to, to, to know. So I think it's very important. There is nothing wrong before you used to go, like I did with Hyatt 22 years, which is fine. Uh, but I think it's also good now in nowadays uh, economy and environments. I think it's good for for young children to to change not only hotel chain, which I actually encourage, but also to to change uh, uh, maybe industry. I think it's a wonderful industry. It's I think it's an industry where you will always have a work, not necessarily the best work, but you will always have a job. Uh, and I think it's an industry where every day is different. It's an industry where you deal with people. Um, you can be very creative. Uh, it's an industry where you see the result of what you do. Um, by far not boring at all. We meet wonderful people like you, Lucia. <laughs> um, and yes, I would definitely recommend uh, this industry to definitely my children yeah. and other children. So yeah, thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. It was a pleasure, Lucia. Please come back anytime. Yeah, we will. Guys, we hope you liked this interview as much as we did. And see you next time on another great interview on Hosco Plus. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.